We've had a lot of blooms of blue-green algae here in South Florida, and these uh, different species of blue-green algae are known to produce a lot of different toxins. Microcystin's been known for a long time. It can lead to long-term liver damage and liver cancer. The thing is, they're only testing for microcystin. There's a lot of other toxins produced by these um, blue-green algae. If the government comes back and says, we didn't find any microcystin, therefore it's okay, no, it's not okay, because you don't know about all these other toxins. The other one that's well, or becoming well known now is BMA. And we looked at the food chain here in South Florida, where we do have these blooms of green algae. And sure enough, we did find high concentrations of, um, of BMA in the various seafood here in South Florida, shrimp, crabs, fish, and so on. I was able to get a permit to get the brain tissue from, from uh, six dolphins that had died in the Indian River Lagoon. And sure enough, five out of those six had high levels of BMA in the brain, comparable to that of what you see in the brains of humans that have died of Alzheimer's or ALS. I talked to two people who studied the behavior of dolphins in, in the Indian River Lagoon, and they told me they see dolphins that seem confused, seem to be getting lost, sometimes swimming up rivers and freshwater lakes and so on. So it sounds just like an Alzheimer's patient. But this does look like a very serious health risk to people here in South Florida. I would not eat any of the seafood in, uh, in these water bodies that get these blooms of blue-green algae.